Hello, my name is Kroniki XZ. I'm also known as the Shift HD, or whatever name you actually want to decide to call me. <coughs> so, today, what we're going to be doing is an FPS movie config installation tutorial. Now, all you literally need to do is actually get your FPS config. Now, for me, I've got Paradox's config. You can normally get Yitch3's off of Bash and Slash. There are many other places that you can actually get the FPS config from. Say, for example, your friends. Um, you can get as many people as you can and just see which one fits to you. Now I use paradoxes like I said, I've always used paradoxes, well not always, I've used it for about one to two maybe three years. <coughs> anyway, configs can be used on any Call of Duty game. These can be obviously to enhance your FPS if you have a low computer, however I have a massive great big massive beast PC yet I still want that massive FPS booster so I can play fluently. So the best thing to do is obviously get yourself a movie config. Or no sorry, not a movie config, an FPS config. Now the places that you want to actually go is Tech9, Config Factory, or bashandslash.com. Now I will link you to all of these places in the description, so don't worry. You can download Yitch3 from this website. Uh, so you say for example here, stock is 52 FPS with 65 VOV, and then you can see there it's now boosted it to 183 FPS. And that's just Yitch2. So you get the idea, this is what it all does. It degrades the graphics but gives you better FPS. So let's kick start and carry on. First things first, you actually want to open Call of Duty 4. After you've opened it, <coughs> you want to get through all the little malarkey stuff and you want to go to new profile. I've already got other profiles, I don't want to touch them, so I'm going to do example. Now get Xfire out of the way, now you can see Call of Duty has gone into this fashion. It's not very good graphics. <coughs> you can tell it's um, at a different resolution. So let's just quickly go over to Strike and let's show you what it looks like so far. It doesn't matter that, obviously. Now you can see that it's 91 FPS or so, but that's because it's um, locked. So let's just go to 250 for a second. So yeah, 250 FPS, I don't, uh, you know, I don't really need an FPS config. But you can see the shadows, details and the things like that you don't really necessarily need. So yeah, you, you get the idea. This is what it looks like at the moment. Not too spectacular. After all, this game is quite old now. So let's just leave. Let's do this, Marine. And let's install the config. So next things next, all you want to do is right click your Call of Duty 4 icon and open file location. I've got all my other COD files here, but you needn't worry about that. You're looking for the players folder. Players is located here. If it hasn't showed up for the very first time, you might want to right click on this blue bar. And it should say open compatibility files or something along the lines of that if you're on Windows, uh, sorry, Windows Vista. 7 it should automatically show it but you may have to do this little blue bar thing and open file location blah 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 <coughs> so after that you just want to go into players and then profiles now I've got my example profile here all I have to do is find my config file which is right here I copy or cut paste drag drop whatever doesn't matter and you paste it in you want to definitely copy and replace there's no choice in the matter. You have to. Otherwise it won't work. Now, to see if it worked, we start up COD 4. Instantaneously, you can see that it's changed. Now, what I have to do is just change the resolution that I actually want to play at. So let's go to 1980, uh, sorry, 1920 by 1080. And again, let's go dev map. Strike once again. Now if you saw, loading time was a hell of a lot quicker. I have no shadows or very little shadows. The quality has the quality of the image has gone down, but my FPS has gone up. Uh, obviously you can tell because I was on uh ten seven four by yeah, you get the idea resolution by now I'm on obviously full HD. And yeah, you can tell. This is what happens. You have nice FPS, I suppose. Right then, chaps. That's it. That's all you have to do for an FPS movie. I will now teach you other various things that can help you with your game. 
Anyway, I will now teach you how to do movie configs, so I should be back in five seconds. Bye. Right, so let's record in. Record. Hello again, it's Chronic EXE, also known as the Shift HD, or whatever you decide to actually want to call me. Um, so, as we're going to do, we're going to continue on with the movie config side of things. So, first things first, you want to open Call of Duty 4, and you want to actually make sure you've actually got a movie config kind of profile. I've got three. I've already used movie for this example. It is really easy to do. All you have to do is, pretty much, make yourself the profile and close Call of Duty 4, like always, like we did in the previous tutorial. So we close it and we've got our little movie config right in the middle, it's called T. Uh, I've put it as a shortcut, I've got no idea why I put it as a shortcut, uh, but yeah. So what you want to do is right click on your Call of Duty 4 icon, open file location, following going into main. Now as you can see I've got all these config files, all of these are different movie configs. Now I've already got T sat in there and again it's literally a drag and drop. So it is really simple, it's straightforward. You just need to make sure the config file is in main. It has to be in main, not in players. Players is for FPS movie, uh, FPS configs, main is for movie configs, uh, 3D spline, LCFX, blah blah blah. So you don't need to use that. After which you need to open Call of Duty 4 once again and then go into your movie config. Now there are a few things you want to enter. You want to make sure that you could do this. R custom mode 1280 times twen uh, 24 enter and then vid restart. You also want to make sure that your aspect ratio is standard 4 by 3. You want to make sure you've got dual video cards on and various other things. And then after which you want to do exec t.config or whatever the config was called. Following which you want to do again in the console forward slash vid underscore restart. It should change but mine's already set like it so it doesn't really matter for me. You will notice a big massive change though. You also don't want it in full screen. So another command is again forward slash r full screen zero. You enter that and then again a vid restart and it should come up like this. Now all we have to do now is literally get into the map. So let's go dev map mp strike. Once again we're already in the game as quick as hell. You join. Now as you can see the colours look exactly the same as they normally are bit bland blah 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 now all you have to do is again exec t.config hey presto the configs have just enabled now if you do use my config and some other people's configs they have kind of the same features as I do multiple tweaks so say for example you want a different color let's press f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 f7 f8 f9 f10 you get the idea I have a lot of tweaks so that is just my movie config tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Everything is set out to max. You can change things you want with other various config tweak lines, blah blah blah. But I suggest you don't. I just keep it the way it is. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorials. I hope you enjoy the configs that I've given you. And I hope you enjoy your Call of Duty 4 in the future a lot more than I did. Anyway, I shall see you all soon. I'm Chronic EXE. I'm signing off. Bye! Now, if any of you guys have any problems whatsoever with any of the FPS configs or movie configs that I have given you, I suggest you go find someone else's, or, you know, try find someone else's at least anyway. But if you do not want them whatsoever, the only way I suggest doing them is delete the profile and delete the config. Those are probably the best ways of getting rid of the config file. So I hope you guys have had enough of me for today. I shall be back in the next couple of days or so. Bye!